Welcome, Jarek. Uh, we'll go straight to Brian Howell. Yes. Hey, Jarek, congratulations on uh, your big night. Um, if you could talk about what the mean w the win means, first off, for this program, and then also for you personally on your uh, college debut to have a night like this. Uh, this mean really uh, means a lot to us. You know, we, there was a lot of, like, uh, things we had to go through with the coronavirus and, you know, getting canceled or paused. So, like, it really felt good to just come out here and, you know, get the dub tonight. Uh, Justin, go ahead. Which one? Jarek, you, you ran for almost 200 yards tonight, averaging six yards per carry. Um, what can you tell us just about the guys that helped make that happen ahead of you, uh, your O-line, and, and how they were able to, to help you get that? Man, shout out to my hogs. They really get it. They really did a good job tonight opening up the holes. And, you know, if a hole that big, it's not that hard to run through it. Uh, Terry Fry. Hey, although you've been through the injuries and everything else, is, does that heighten your excitement and your satisfaction out of this one? Can you repeat that? You went through, you've gone through a lot. How does, how do those experiences heighten the satisfaction tonight? Uh, all of those experiences really is, is just motivation for me, honestly. Okay. And how about you and Sam? You're both, you're not exactly in the same situation as Sam, but you're, you both burst onto the scene tonight. Any sense of satisfaction out of doing it together like that? Yeah. Uh, um, so early in the game, we told each other that, uh, we were going to depend on each other and, you know, we just, we just got comfortable with it and did our thing. Uh, Brian, back to you. Oh, my God. Hey, Jarek, I, I believe all three of your touchdowns were set up by the defense getting turnovers. Um, can you just talk about what that meant for you guys to have the defense? I know they had their struggles tonight, but the way they set the tone in the first half by causing those turnovers? We all feed off one another. So, you know, when the defense is making big plays, that's just going to bring a lot of momentum to the offense. So it just makes it a lot easier to put it in the end zone. Uh, Hart. Hi, Jared. Congratulations on the win. Um, at one point, uh, when they took you out there, you had the sideline. Uh, looked like they were getting some fluids in you. How are you feeling health-wise after the game? I'm good. I'm a little nicked up, but, I mean, if we had to go another quarter, you'd see me out there. Uh, Justin Guerrero. Jared, I mean, you guys wrapped up a group. 500 yards of total offense so it's definitely hard to kind of be nitpicky about things but I mean even right here and now before this night is over before you start to, to watch some film from the game did you guys feel like you left anything on the field offensively and anything just on your mind that maybe you, you could have done better and that you want to clean up heading into this week of practice well I mean there's for sure like always room to improve but we came out we we got a win we're gonna look at it and we back at it next week Cali uh, we'll go with one more for Jarek, uh, Brian Howell. Hey, Jarek, one more for you. Obviously, uh, not a whole lot of fans, about 500 tonight. <laughs> uh, what did it feel like playing in front of no fans? And did you really notice it as you got into the flow of the game? <clears throat> no, nah, when, uh, when I went into the game, it was football is football, fans or no fans. You still got to show up and do your job. So that's what I did. All right, thank you, Jarek. That's it for you. Oh,